What's going on, YouTube? Got all this crap in my hands right now. We're heading over to the car right now, loading her up. It's gonna be a fun day. We got some motorcycle maintenance that we gotta do. So that's why we're loading up that stuff. But we're gonna check the weather. It's winter, so the weather ain't too hot lately. And you know, you know, we'll get down to the garage and I'll let you know what's going down. All right, guys. Hopefully, the camera survives all of this video. There's like no cars around here too, which is nice right now. Um, hopefully, we don't piss off the neighbors too much today. All right, let's get it. let's go to the garage. YouTube. Let's start off this whole video. The cold start of the, the steed. So let's get that. There it goes. Well, what a turn of events that has been today. Um, we got down to the garage. We're going to do some fun with the, the bike, clean lube the chain, things like that. And it turns out that um, the battery's dead. So what a turn of events. Now we're going to go off cycle gear. Hopefully they've got a battery for me. Or maybe there's like a motorcycle jumper pack or something. Yeah, so maybe there's there's a jumper pack or something that I can get to get her to turn over. But I mean, if not, then pick up a Shirai lithium battery, start the weight savings, you know? All right, fellas, so we picked up some rivets just because the bike needs them. Um, and we also got this bad boy. DuraBoost battery maintainer. Um, the battery might be fucked already, so we'll see. As it stands, we're gonna attach that all together to the bike set her up for a charge for a little bit and then see how see how we're doing see if we can get her to turn over see if we can get her to turn over and if we can get her to turn over then then we'll be back on track for what we we're trying to do today because there's a couple things that we're trying to do but yeah so I'll check in with you guys back at the garage. All right, fellas, so back in the garage. Probably not the work I was planning on doing today. So box cutter, out and forth here. This is not the work I intended to do today. See, this is called making the best out of. It's called making the best out of a not perfect situation. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this cable set onto the battery, and then we're gonna plug her in. Put the seal.
real quick because we're gonna pull the fairings because I was planning on doing that for some stuff anyway. So we're just gonna do that while this trickle charges for a little bit. I have to edit the crap out of this video. So we've taken apart the left side of the bike here. Um, we're gonna take a look into the coolant. Can't really see much. That is, it is antifreeze. It, it ain't what the, the previous owner said it was. So that is definitely gonna be on the agenda is coolant flush for this bad boy. Yeah, um, so we're gonna set the radiator cap back on just for the time being. We have like no fluid in the, um, the reservoir, literally none. So that's not great. All right, YouTube, so it's the next day. The bike did turn over yesterday, which is a good thing. God, the hair's a mess. Um, anyway, so the bike did turn over yesterday. Good thing. The battery was charging up. Life's good. Um, the camera died before we could really, before that occurred. But today is when the big shit's gonna happen. So I'll see you guys in the garage. We're gonna get into that. Hopefully this video won't be longer than about 15 minutes total, but we'll see. For the YouTube. You're on the YouTube now. All right. Will she turn over today? Should. The boy Jarek out here helped out. That big ass stock exhaust is currently off. We're gonna get the sound check right now. All right, neighbors. Our right, sound check one. Here we go.
All right, guys, we're going to make this quick. Future Drew here. Um, I'm currently editing everything you just watched. And here is the kind of outro wrap up of everything that occurred. So the battery was dead, trickle charged. Seems to work. I haven't been able to tell if it holds a charge yet. We'll find out. Um, number two, figured out how to take all the fairings off. Important thing for the bike because I need to do an oil change soon. Three, my dog is being annoying. Three, um, we took the slip the stock mufflers off, and that is now a open header, which does sound like a straight Moto GP bike, and it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing riding. It sounds amazing stopping. It sounds amazing. At idle, it sounds amazing with like those low end revs. It just all around sounds really, really good. But it is obnoxiously loud, and I personally cannot handle a bike that is that loud. So I'm going to be getting a slip on for it, but I'm most likely going to keep it in this configuration until um, I order a slip on and it arrives. And then we'll slap a slip on on that, and that'll be a video in itself. So if you want to see that, subscribe down below um or on the thing at the end of this video up to you but the other thing is i need you guys to comment down below and let me know if you have any exhaust ideas for a 2006 gsxr 750 um i've looked into a couple i'm current i've got i've got some ideas but i want your guys's opinion so let me know down below in the comments don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe hit that bell notification we upload every saturday um and i will see you guys in the next video so peace out